the revolution of the Baal Tshuva. This is such an incredible topic that I don't, I might have mentioned there and there or wrote something about it, but I never really express it uh, fully. I think it's so important to understand what's going on. We are in a generation that has never, almost never, at least on to that amplitude, uh, experienced so many, so many thousands of thousands of people becoming religious. You'll see thousands of people converting, but uh, 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 the, the Baal Shuva movement is something that uh, throughout all of Jewish history has been the biggest now and um, and we have people coming from nowhere starting to become religious and find out that they're Jewish and become religious and the question is like what's happening what is this happening uh, especially that the tension between the all the ultra orthodox or the, the orthodox Jews and the Baal Shuva who become uh, religious um, because Orthodox Jews uh, sometimes have an agenda of, oh, you become to Judaism, well, this is the way we you should be Jewish. You see, the way we do our minhagim, do it like that. And wherever a Baal Shuba goes, wherever he's pushed to go, then um, he's influenced their way. So if he is taken by... Uh, that type of Hasidim, they're going to push him to be Hasidish like that. If you take, if you taken by this type of Sephardim, he's being encouraged to be Sephardi like that. Or the, and this is completely wrong, in my opinion. Um, I know because I'm a Baal Shuvah, and it was extremely confusing uh, at the beginning um, what was the proper way for me to become religious, and because there's so many different um, uh, groups uh, there's at least a hundred group. So, okay, there's hundred groups, and which one should I choose from? And am I supposed to choose even one group? It's very... So everybody says, do it like that, this is the best, this is the best. The truth is, when you become religious, you have to explore what it is that I feel connected to. What you feel you're connected to is what you're going to be able to be the most productive, the most passionate, the most... The closest to God. So, which path help you be the closest to God? As long as they feel, if they follow the six hundred thirteen commandments, then all the rest is all depends on your connection uh, to personal connection to God, to your own soul. So, you have to discover which rabbi uh, by reading the books and the commentaries. You can already connect. I love what that rabbi say. I love what this rabbi say. Uh, the Rambam, the Baal Shem Tov, the Ben Ishchai, and you decide by understanding them where your soul belongs. You're more attracted to spirituality, or you're more attracted to down to earth, you're more attracted to Gemara, you're more attracted to Midrash. So based on everything that you like, you, you that you connect to, that's where you're going to let yourself go and meet the people that you feel connected to. Um, and, and that's, now, that's the first step of someone who become religious, um, and, and the greatness of it is that the revolution is that it brings life back um, because a, a, a Baal Shuvah does it out of choice. It's, tell, it's telling the message to a religious Jew who was born into it, you have to choose it. You have to choose it. Because when you were always in it, you never really got the choice to choose to be religious. When you choose to be religious, you choose to be a servant of God, then it's exciting. Then you, you're alive. Then it's like, wow, I want to do that. That's what I want. It's not, I have to. Oh, yeah, you, of course, you have to. You're commandment, commanded. You're Jewish. You have to. That's what you're commanded to. But beyond that, you have to go beyond that. Lifne Hashem. You walk Lifne Hashem, not Acharei Hashem. Hashem tells you, do that. No, no. You have to do Acharei. Come after me. You have to go before Hashem asks you to do things, you preempt, you know what Hashem already wants, you know what your parents want. So that's the level that we want to go. And I think the Baal Shuvah movement, the, I, I, I here to bring that. Sometimes, unfortunately, it's extinguished by the Orthodox because um, uh, it's, 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 it's trying to say, uh, whoa, whoa, you know, don't, don't go too crazy, don't be too different. Um, but because that excitement can bring about Shua to be to want to do something a little bit different, not saying in terms of halacha, but you know, uh, I'm just giving a, a, a stupid example. But let's say instead of doing Cholot on Shabbat, he's going to do um, Mexican dinner or Chinese dinner, whatever. And um, 
and, and Chinese food. So technically there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but it, because it's different, people don't like changes. So from the Orthodox, from, from birth uh, people, they're going to look at it as maybe an attack to the traditional Judaism. So don't be scared of that. As long as you do six and seven commandments, you you should use your creativity, um, and uh, as long as there's respect of other minhagim, it's fine. Uh, another, I mean, you should own anyway. You need your rabbi to guide you as you grow into it. That's that's the most important. If you have your rabbi who is stable um, and knows how things work, then he'll guide you. A rabbi to help you become who you are, and a rabbi who tells you how to be. Very different. And so that's the beginning, the first phase of the uh, Baal Shuba revolution. The phase that is even more important is um, the fact that we as Baal Shuba are bringing, are coming from the secular. And that's where the sometimes the Orthodox Jews are very scared of us because we're coming with all our um, demons, so to speak, with all our impure thoughts with all our um, negative impure tra traumatic experience um, and yes we have as Baal Shuba experienced certain things that um, people who grew up in a insulated uh, small um, uh, you know society are not exposed to and therefore we might have been um, affected on some level by those. However, it doesn't mean that we have to drop everything and that everything secular have done is negative and bad. On the contrary, one of the things that we have to do is to merge the secular and the spiritual. And But the, 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 the from world is so scared of the... of the physical, the from world is so scared of the physical and the material world uh, with, with with for right reasons, but they they stay completely too too some sometimes too disconnected, um, um, and 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 what we have to do is let's say I learn violin or I certainly learn classical. There's nothing wrong taking classical or certain music and bringing it part of of Judaism as long as it's pure with the right intent with the right. Obviously, you need the right guidance always, but we have to be careful not to. Um, let all the physical and all the lessons we have learned, scientific lessons, who are true, um, some are not. We have to learn everything, uh, you know, in the right way from the Torah perspective. Uh, but we should not be afraid to um, bring that into our Judaism. That's what makes the Baal Shuba unique. And I think it's we, we in a way the revolution is that we are a bridge between. Um, the secular world, the non-Jewish world, and the Orthodox world. Balei Shuva says uh, that one of the big problems was that um, so very often we were told not to love uh, non-Jews as, uh, you know, like, n not to respect them, them, or it seems, it appears the way we're told that it was not like that, which according to Halakha is wrong. We have to love non-Jews and we have to respect them and we have to, just like any other human beings. Um, and the idea is that is the 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 the, the Baal Shuvah bring have question and attack many times. Uh, I remember a lot of debates. Like you have, how, how do you not treat your parents? How do you not treat you know your neighbor who's not Jewish? If when you do Shabbat, whatever you do, you have, and we are bringing back that bridge of learning to live in harmony with the world. Um, that, that's something the Baal Shuvah are bringing. So as a Baal Shuvah, you have to make sure you're proud. You have to make sure you um, you you there is that that verse that my rabbi always says uh, is, my, that song that verse right you 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 take with you all your stuff from before of all your past and return to Hashem with it don't say cut your past. It's not uh, uh, um, obviously there's a somera, but not a somera of not everything secular and materialistic and physical is bad. Take your experience, take your difficulties, all the things you have learned from life, and bring them into Judaism. Bring them to 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 go and use them to come close to Hashem. So um, this is, in my opinion, the Baal Shuvah revolution. It's still happening now. It's almost over. There's almost I mean there's still 
Baal Shuba coming, um, but um, I feel that the Baal Shuba have uh, could have been stronger and brought even more to Judaism. Uh, there's a lot of Baal Shuba who bring books, who have become rabbis, but I feel personally that a lot of them have diminished themselves, their own personal being uh, or greatness because they have been extinguished by the very formal, um, narrow, some, sometimes narrow-minded uh, orthodox communities. Um, you don't want to be too open-minded, obviously, everything is balanced, Dech Yashar, in the middle path, but I think it's an important message for uh, the from world, but more important even for the Baal Shuvah world to realize that if you're a Baal Shuvah, you're part of that mission, you're part of that revolution, and you have to make sure you embrace it and you use it and you become a powerful Baal Shuvah, bringing to Judaism life force, enjoyment, I mean joy, uh, excitement, and, and originality, and the bridge between the secular and the physical, and the secular and the spiritual, the material, material and the spiritual. So, uh, Viva la Revolution! Uh, may we uh, celebrate this revolution because it's all what Hashem wanted, and uh, we are we are there now to experience it and make the world a better place.